10 multiple choice questions. So I have already uploaded a video on the Science Mystery 4 on how to complete it, and I have continued, or not continued, I have included that in this Google Classroom post, and I've also included the link to go to the Birthday Sky um, page, and then I'm also going to include um, myself reading the Sun paper. So if you don't want to have this paper read to you, then don't listen to me, but you can listen to the rest of this video. However, don't quite get off yet because I'm going to explain how you're going to answer the questions. So I'm going to upload a picture of the a PDF version of the reading and the 10 multiple choice questions. And then how you're going to answer the questions is you can either upload them into Kami and answer them on Kami and then submit them to me that way. Or I'm going to upload just like I do on everything else, the Google Doc with the numbers one through 10 and you can just type in number one, whatever your correct answer is, number two, whatever your correct answer is and submit it to me that way. Or you can write your answers on a plain sheet of paper and then submit a picture of that on this Google post. However you want to do it is perfectly fine. Um, just do it one of those three ways. Or if you are cohort A and I gave you a paper copy of these yesterday when I saw you in class and you want to do it on paper and then you can submit it to me when I see you in class on Monday. You can do it that way. Okay? But now if you want to click out of the video and don't want to have me read the reading to you, you can do that. But if you would like to listen to me read to you, then continue watching and I will read it to you now. All right, I'm going to flip the camera down. It's going to be upside down for a minute, but it'll be okay. So just hold on. Oh, we're upside down, oh no. Just kidding. Okay, I fixed it, we're good. I'm magic, I know. Alrighty, so the sun. It gives us light to see by, it keeps us warm, and provides energy for every living thing on Earth to grow and survive. The sun is the center of our solar system. Without it, our planet would be an empty rock floating through outer space. Although we call it sun, our sun is really a star. That's right, the sun is a star just like all the other stars you see when you look up at the night sky. It appears much larger, larger than other stars, but that is only because it is so much closer to us than they are. In fact, our sun is smaller than most of the stars in our galaxy. For a small star, it is still very, very big. The sun is 865 miles, that's 1,392,000 kilometers wide. That is 110 times bigger than Earth. The sun is not made of rock like Earth. You would not be able to stand on it because it is not solid. It is mostly made of gas. The sun is 74% hydrogen and 24% helium. The rest is oxygen, carbon, iron, and neon. There is another reason you would never visit the sun. It's incredibly hot. The sun's surface temperature is around 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 5,500 degrees Celsius. The highest temperature ever recorded on Earth was only 134 degrees Fahrenheit, or 57 degrees Celsius. The sun is about 93 million miles away from Earth, and it takes about eight minutes for its light to reach us. All of the energy on Earth comes from the sun. The sun creates energy by combining hydrogen and helium gases. This process is called nuclear fusion. Oops, sorry guys, I forgot to move it up. So um, I just read this part right here about nuclear fusion. All of the planets in our solar system orbit, so we're right here. All of the planets in our solar system orbit or rotate around the sun. Oh, they used the wrong word. What word should go here? If they orbit, they... What word should go there? Revolve. It should be revolve. Because remember, rotate means it's spinning. 
Revolve means it goes around. Good job. This happens because of the sun's gravitational pull. The law of gravity says that smaller objects will be pulled towards larger objects. This pull is what keeps our feet on the ground. The Earth's gravitational pull keeps us from floating off its surface into space. The sun's gravitational pull keeps all the planets in line. All right, now that we are done reading, I'm going to go ahead and take the questions and I'm going to read the questions to you. Okay. So number one, why do we need the sun? A, it gives us light. B, it keeps us warm. C, it provides energy. Or D, all of the above. Number two, true or false? The sun is the center of our galaxy. True or false? Number three, the sun is really a star. True or false? Number four, The sun is blank than most of the stars in our galaxy. Stronger, larger, smaller, or farther away? Number five. Why would you never be able to visit the sun? It's too hot. It is made of gases. It is too small. Both A and B. Number six. The sun is mostly made of hydrogen, helium, oxygen, neon. Now it's made of all of those, but what is it mostly made of? So what is it made the most of? Number seven. Fahrenheit and Celsius are both units for measuring temperature, distance, time, or weight. Number eight. Nuclear fusion is a process that creates hydrogen, energy, life, or fire. Number nine. Which word has a similar meaning to the word orbit? Float, bounce, Rotate or hover? Even though we know it's not right, it's what they think has a similar meaning to the word orbit. And number 10, the law of blank says that smaller objects will be pulled towards larger objects. Fusion, gravity, Momentum or solar system? Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Alrighty, go ahead and pause the video at any time. Go back, listen to me read it again. Go back and listen to me read any of those questions. Here we go. Now you can, oh, I'm upside down. I'm on the ceiling. Now I'm sideways. Just kidding. Go back and listen to me read any of those questions again. Go back and listen to me read the story again. Anything you need. Um, and then answer those questions. Submit them to me. If you need anything, please let me know. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Next week, we're going to start talking about the planets. There's two sets of planets we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the inner planets and the outer planets. There's differences between the two. 
and you'll find out what those differences are next week. Get excited, guys. We're going to have some fun. All right. Have a great weekend. Enjoy some, some free time. I think we're going to get some snow. If we don't, don't be mad because I said we might. Um, but if we do, have fun in the snow. If not, have some fun outside. But bundle up. It might be cold. Have a great weekend. Uh, it's supposed to stop. Have a great weekend.